Over here, uh, I started creating some light boxes down here. Let's see if I've still got the other one of these kicking around. Well, this is easy enough to duplicate. So to get this shape, I just took a spare piece of styrene, lined it up here because that's the inside of the console there. Make sure it's flat on the bottom. And that should be good enough. You don't need this extra ridge up here because the uh, light should basically not be too much of a worry at that point. So, cutting along there. Always test fit first. It's pretty good. It's not exact, but we can uh, fill up that little gap down there. But it's definitely too tall. So we'll cut down just a little here. Now if you've got a way to uh, cut a straight edge and right corners, that's definitely going to be the best option. I'm just kind of eyeballing it with the scissors right now. And scissors tend to wander when they do their cuts. So this is not exactly a straight line, but that should not be a problem at all. And if it is, then... We can just add some filler later on, some putty, even uh, like Play-Doh would work in this case. Just something simple to uh, block off the light. So there we've got a good fit. It doesn't go over the edge of the console there. So uh, let me glue this in. Just run a little bit along the top. baking soda a little more glue off camera a little more baking soda this piece is pretty well in there let's do a little more on this side now and I'll also run it against this registration pin That is in there nice and solid. Almost. A little more right there. And a little more glue. Now it's in there nice and solid. And just to dry that up real quick so it doesn't drip anywhere. And I got a fingerprint or rather a piece of skin attached right there from a little bit of a drip so I'll have to sand that down later on so now we can freely put in two uh, green LEDs for the radar a yellow in the middle for the uh, astrogator whoops and uh, we'll fix this real quick as well So one of the nice things about using super glue over uh, regular plastic cement is that you can take things apart later on with something of a bit of relative ease because uh, plastic cement will actually melt the two pieces of plastic together whereas super glue just creates a really strong bond. And only being a bond, super glue can be broken with some work. So 
and we're all set there. I glued it in a little off, so we'll have to cut down a little here off the top. Pretty good. And test fit. Nice. So I don't think any of this will have to be blocked off, but I may wind up running a piece of styrene back there anyway. So there's a couple other pieces of uh, styrene in here. This is a box for the ladder. So that will go underneath. I can't... Oh, we'll throw this here, throw that there. So basically I'm just going to glue this to the bottom of the uh, deck when I'm ready to or a little closer to the time. Then this one here is for the elevator to block off any of the fusion core flashing from getting up into there. The freezer tubes will also probably get some kind of tubular sort of situation. And uh, I may be running lights into the uh, central, I think that's an astrogator as well, I forget what this one's called. But the central room navigation sort of thingy. I don't know if that's lit, but there could be some lights on the console. So uh, that's it for all the light boxes and the lighting ideas. So we're looking at uh, maybe we'll call this 20 LEDs here. There's a couple in here, say uh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So wait a second, let me do this uh, a little different. There's 20 LEDs here. They're going to be yellow, red, and uh, orange. Over here we need... Uh, red, possibly a white, and overall we need red, blue, green, uh, yellow, orange, is that all of them? And some whites coming up. So out of all the LEDs needed, I'll know exactly how many I need as I get closer to finishing it all. So grand total we'll say uh, 20 because each of these are going to be individual and can't be run anywhere else. And then we'll need uh, some yellow and white in here, say two. We'll need a blue, two or three of them. There's lots of yellow in this kit, especially along this wall and all these controls here. So let's say we need five, maybe six for those. A few reds. There's not too many blues in the ship. A lot of them occur right here alone. But we'll throw some out in other places as well. So say two or three of them, uh, two or three red maybe five of them, orange, two or three, but basically it's not going to be too many of each one except for the whites, and the whites, I'm still looking at maybe 20 to 30 of them in this area here to get a really nice glow going on there, so we'll know about totals as we get closer to that, sorry I can't give them to you off the top of my head, this is definitely a uh, do it as you go sort of thing. And basically I've got a lot of stock laying around so I'm not too worried about whatever numbers happen to be that I need.